Oh boy, what are we doing? State of Decay Lifeline. That's right, time to join the army. So we got to see the story of State of Decay 1 to its completion. Took me the 13 episodes to do. So now we're going in to Lifeline, which I believe was the only paid DLC for State of Decay 1. This is basically State of Decay 1's version of Heartland. It has at least two endings. There might be a third. I don't know if there is or not, but we're going to get both the endings. I'm going to do the short ending first, and then I'm going to get the harder to get longer ending second. And I think this is a lot better of an add-on than Heartland because it does play differently than your typical Stave DK experience. It's still Stave DK though, don't get me wrong. We will open fire. Nice and laggy in the beginning. We've got over a dozen hostiles here. We need orders. Doghouse. Your ROE is kill all hostiles. Do not think, just stay alive. I'll get right on that. Don't let it get up! Yeah! That is how you slay a zombie. You realize these were people, right? Emphasis on were. Greyhound went to Doghouse. We're still here. We had to abandon our vehicle. Medevac is ready to go, but right now, Greyhound 2 is busy fucking up my LZ. Get over there and secure that extraction point. We're not going to be rescuing anybody if we can't even land a damn helo. Doghouse out. So that's our first thing. We got threat level three. Can't remember what all those do. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Let's see what our stats are. Alicia Hawks. Does she have any special features? Yes, yeah, she's got leadership. We're definitely going to take assault weapons because I think that'll be thematic for an army character. And definitely we want focus aim. Be very useful against ferals. And our gear is, we've got the assault rifle, the RFB. We've got a pistol, the Stoba. Got some ammo, a telescoping baton. Oh, it's five-star quality. Some MREs and some aspirin. Oh, here's our vehicle. So as I said, oh wait, hold on a second. Can we make it? Can we make it? Yay! I didn't join the army to shoot Americans, ma'am. Americans? I think we canceled their passports when they joined the living dead. It's not like they were recruited, Vince. They fucking died. So keep that trash-talking bullshit up your ass where it belongs. <sighs> Somebody's got something up his ass. Private Vincent, do you think the end of the world needs wise asses or soldiers? Soldiers, ma'am. Well, if you see one, you let me know. Oh, further along. So this is Dansforth. That's the name of this city. And a lot of people have wanted a city map. This is the closest you're going to get to a city map. Kind of afraid to talk because I don't want to interrupt the dialogue. I'm guessing this is our turn. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that didn't work too well. Okay, let's just try backing in. Okay. This is the LZ, but we're not landing a helo on those Zeds. I need to turn my volume down. So, you can see up there, Siege. This was the game that introduced the Siege mechanic that would eventually be added back into State of Decay 2. Nice. 
The slow motion time immediately earning its keep. Gonna be very useful in the lifeline. Oh, didn't see that one. New soundtrack, too. Can you hear that? A lot more action-packed music. Greyhound 2. I thought we lost you. You never call, you never write. It's just the two of us now. I don't even know what happened to my comms. Everything went down so fast. This whole mission is messed up. We dug in here like they said, but these bastards got in anyway. Threat level hey, one. Boy. I show you're at the LZ. Finally. I got a helo en route. Get on the road and pick up that high value asset before we have to go wheels up. Roger, you have our position. Tell the bird to land inside the fence and get the doctor on board. Roger that. Maybe one thing will go right today. Doghouse out. Okay, we've got a mission, so uh, th uh, speed is of the essence. I mean, that might be too severe. Speed, it's, a, it's important not to lollygag in this one. So, as you can see, we're playing as the army. And what makes this kind of different than your typical state UK, in addition to you have the new siege mechanic that they added into it, this one plays, I guess I would describe it as reverse State of Decay. In State of Decay, typically you start out weak and you grow stronger. This one, you start out strong with lots that of... A helicopter? I've seen worse. Greyhound 1 to Doghouse. We're at the objective. The helo is a wreck. No visual on the app. I want headshots on all tangos, standing or otherwise. Confirm that our asset isn't one of them. <laughs> The army zombies are definitely making it a lot less convenient since I can't use my my headshots on them, it'll just bounce right off their armor. <laughs> Any more zombies? Come on out, stop hiding. We got a mission to do. You still think this is funny, Vince? No, Sergeant. No way. Doghouse to Greyhound 1. We're showing that asset is not at your position. Confirmed, sir. No one here matches the ID. Alive or dead. Well then, uh, expand your search to the surrounding buildings. Yes, sir. Greyhound 1 out. Listen up. We're gonna search these structures for friendlies. So check your fire. Got ourselves a glorified find the person Sorry. mission. There'll be time to loot later. Right now, we gotta make sure we are finding our objective. New buildings, new signs, new music. These are some of the things that make it feel a lot more like a, a, a more complete expansion. Like it, it, it does feel like a... I did enjoy this DLC. We're done here. And while this map would not be added into State of Decay 1, this map was custom tailored for... What do you call it? Um, Lifeline. It has a lot of completely inaccessible areas, and the map is actually pretty small. Hello? So it wouldn't have made a very good map to begin with. Set, on your right. 
And it's the very last possible building. Hello? You must be Dr. Thomas Horn. We're here to get you out. Um, I'm not sure that I should. Doghouse actual to Greyhound 1. That helicopter is moments from your position. We need you to move. Roger. We're loading up the asset now. Oh, thank God. I mean, <clears throat> that's good news, Greyhound 1. They're scratching at the damn gates over here. The sooner you get him in the air, the sooner we can all get the fuck out. Now go! Let's grab this. Let's loot this fast loot real fast. I found a stash of supplies. You mind helping me bring this stuff back to base? Watch the front. Gonna grab what we can. Hmm. I love that execution. Um. Okay, there's our vehicle. I was wondering what it was. I do want to grab those building materials before we go. Just because we did, like, it, there's no guesswork in it. We absolutely are certain that those are building materials. And we kind of want to loot whenever possible, but we want to loot not whenever possible. We want to loot when an opportunity presents itself that doesn't interfere with our main goal. I saw that we had more radio call-ins as well. We'll, we'll get a chance to check those out when we're less on the clock. He'll be fine. Oh, put it in. There we go. Quite a change of pace, isn't it? This... You know, we're in, like, a real interstate highway and whatnot. Even the vehicles have different colors. Let's get this guy back home. Ugh. Let's ram into things. Oh, we want to use that thing. That thing looks pretty cool. Oh, we got two of them. So this was the game that actually introduced Trunk Space, or this expansion introduced Trunk Space. Dust off in two minutes. Where are you taking me? Out of here. I mean, does it really matter? We're taking you to HQ. Apparently your research is our best hope for curing this thing. Let me spell it out. I'm infected. One of those things bit me. I'm a dead man. You're wasting your time. I'm not here to decide who's a waste of time. I'm here to get you out. What if I turn while we're airborne? Attack the pilot? Bring us all down? What good did I do then? Hey, whoa! My time is up. Use your helicopter to save somebody else. Doctor, no! <laughs> so I guess we call off the medevac. Who gave that doctor access to a weapon? We have a lot of dead soldiers here, sir. We're now securing all weapons we can find. Well, it's too fucking late now, isn't it? Why don't you just hand your rifles over to the Zeds? Save us all some trouble. Sir, what's the plan now? Just stand by while I unfuck this problem you created. Sir, this entire area is exposed to the enemy. Our ammo won't last forever. Shore up your position, soldier. Long as you don't fuck it up any worse, we can keep you supplied by air. Just stand by and don't let anyone else die. Doghouse out. I have a strong feeling... I have a strong feeling this video is not going to be monetized. Okay, so let's see what our base looks like. The first thing we want to do is get all of these repaired. Arriving at the target now. Surveying the area now. Oh, these are... these are calling... These are costing building materials to repair. Okay, well, we, we grabbed some, so that should be fine. See, it's, it takes three each, so let's get this done, that done, that done. Get all of these things repaired. So over here, 
We can actually set like landmines and whatnot, but we don't need to do that just yet. Until our threat level increases further. Oh, uh, let's bring somebody with me. Um, I'll bring... Uh, no, Sergeant's gonna be my second in command, so... Time to get it on! Oh, well, let's use one of those cool vehicles. That's what it's about. Here we go. If I remember right, these vehicles are pretty quick, too. As you can tell, like, this map is supposed to look like, like, it's battle plans. Which is pretty cool. Let's loot some of these just buildings nearby and just... Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna need to move those vehicles out of the way. There's just too many vehicles that are just... gonna be a problem. Building materials. Okay, we're not going to fast search because there's a chance you can damage the stuff inside of it and we want to make sure we bring back as much as possible. Call for scavengers. Mind helping me bring the stuff back to base? Oh. Thank you for not helping me. Got to grab as much as we can. Because, like I said, this... This one is about, uh... Time efficiency is a, is a big component of this. We don't need to be lightning bolts. But we also can't be snails. We got some new voice actors, too, and some of the old voice actors have new lines, so they, they sound a little more military-like. Clear. Okay, um, I'll take this and this, and I'll leave those. The one thing I forgot to mention about the map is the map has a lot of inaccessible areas, and it has these things called danger zones. Energy drink? Ooh, stamina penalty. Let's take that instead. So, these areas here are inaccessible, because these are like the inner city areas, and you can see this is like the highway that goes around. And that's what I mean by you can't actually go inside the city. It, it is a city-themed map, but... You're not able to go in there, and if you get close enough to the edges of the city, you'll enter the danger zone, which creates, like, a huge ton of zombies that attack. We're not taking a lot of this stuff, because what we're mainly looking for is base resources. Um, no room for I kind of want that, but that's it. Like I said, we're looking for st resource stockpiles at the moment. I mean, we could take an outpost. Let's see, how many can we have? Let's, um, let's get this. Oh, it's cool. It's got this crazy octopus paint job. That's kind of neat. Let's just move some of these vehicles out of the way. Ah, the terrible aim. Push these guys, bring the vehicle closer, Let's grab as much as we can before we start getting more missions. Ah. So the way this is going to work is... We're going to get supplies every day, like the army's going to drop supplies off. 
But as the zombie outbreak gets worse and worse, they're not going to be able to give us as much. And we're going to start... So we're going to start out not having to worry about supplies at all. And then over time, we're going to have to switch more to a State of Decay style where we do have to be concerned about supplies. On the way back now. Okay, let's kill this guy over here so that I can call for more scavengers. This location is technically unsound. Doghouse actual to Greyhound 1. Come in. This is Greyhound 1. We've fortified a position at the LZ. New outpost uses call sign Black Friday. All right, Black Friday. You've got new orders. I'm putting together a list of people who work with Dr. Horn. People who knew his research and might be able to make a difference. If any of them are alive, then maybe we can still salvage this thing. Just tell us where to go. First up is his ex-wife, Julene Horn. She's a surgeon at University Medical. She was being ground evac'd on the other side of town. But the way the highways are jammed up, we think she's stranded. Get to her last known location, track her down, and bring her in. Doghouse out. Nice. Okay, so we got new missions. That means we're going to drop what we're doing. We're going to go back and drop this stuff off, resupply. Maybe we'll call, maybe we'll build a few buildings. We'll see what's kind of going on, and then we're going to immediately dispatch... But you don't want to waste time on these missions. You want to make sure you're getting these missions done. Okay. Let's put this away, that away, that away. This is using that kind of ammo, so let's put this away, that away, that away. Pull out some ammo. That's good enough. Get us some supplies. That's fine. That's fine. And one of those will do. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's check our buildings. We've got 87 building materials, so yes, we can definitely do some stuff. Okay, so this allows me... This is the Ops Center. This allows me to give, like, orders to people. Hunt zombies around the... Th keep the threat low. Search and rescue. Let's start with tactical supply lines and... work on uh, improving what we've got. So, and we need to start building some essential things. We don't have a workshop. We don't have... a hospital. Okay, so yeah, this is where we can call in, like, equipment and whatnot. But let's not mess with that at the moment. Uh, here's a generator. That's a brand new building. And maybe a latrine? Or a training place. Let's do the latrine, because I think that's also a new, uh, a new building. I don't think there was a latrine in... Yeah, there was. Let's go for, like, the new buildings. How many materials do we have left? 57, oh, we've got plenty. Yeah, we did a good job getting those early supplies plus whatever we started with. And hopefully those orders that we issued will get us, I don't know what it's gonna get us, like, I don't know if it's gonna get us like consumables and weapons or if it's going to get us like base supplies, because right now we wanna stock the base up and get this base built. Okay, we've got a ways to go, so I don't have to worry about what turn we need. One thing that's kind of annoying, though realistic, is uh, you can see these barricades here. So we, like, these are the kind of some of the problems you run into. Those concrete barriers that separate the lanes, like sometimes they can be a little inconvenient to go through. Fortunately, right now it's not too bad. I'm able to drive left and right, so is this where we turn off? It looks like this is our turn, so let's go ahead and rescue... Uh, looks like they're actually on the road. Unexpected. But yeah, maybe they're in a traffic jam or something. Oh man, driving like an idiot.
Yep, those are definitely not zombies. Hey! Are you here for us? We have a medevac down the road. We're looking for Dr. Julene Horn. Thomas Horn's wife? Ex-wife. Like it matters. Yes, please, get us out of here. Nice. Pretty simple. I'm sorry, Dr. Horn. Your husband is dead. Ex-husband. Oh. Oh, God. The brass thought you might know something about his research. Something that could help us. I'm a surgeon. I didn't have time to listen to Tom's obsessive theories. He practically papered our house with... Oh, crap. You don't want me. You want his notes. The house isn't too far from here. I'll show you where to go. Um... Okay, it looks like the turnoff is further up. Okay, here is the off-ramp. I guess it also doubles as an on-ramp. That's an interesting... Oh, I see. It's uh, got the wavy American flag on it or something. Ram through these fools. Oh, it's an infestation. Don't tell me. That's your house? I didn't invite those people. Hey, I can help clear them out. I'm in the reserves. Trained at Fort Sam Houston. Outstanding. We've got this. Oh, looks like, uh... Ah, we can finish him off. Oh gosh, there's a lot of them in there. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna jump in through the side, take an MRE, and then slow down time. Up, oh, ran out of stamina, but not before we basically got the majority of them. Oh, it was behind me. Okay, so they just found some food, so it is finding, um... What do you call it? Bulk supplies, which is exactly what we want. All right, I think I know where I stuck his notes. How many times did I tell him to clean up his crap? Search fast, all right? I want to make it out alive. All right, so another one of these search missions. But like I said, one thing I like in State of K One is that you can actually search and help speed up the process. Four-star weapon, that's worth taking. Oh, I see he made it in. Uh, three-star weapon? That's not worth taking. Two-star weapon? Not taking. Maybe we'll get some medical supplies here. Call for scavengers. Mind helping me bring the stuff... Hey, it looks like someone else got inside. Now, you know, like, it, it might be a little strange, but I tend to like games with time limits. Something about the pressure of working under time I enjoy. Of course, it took the vehicle really far away, which is annoying. Due to the cutscene. Greyhound 1 to Black Friday. We're en route with Dr. Horn. Let Doghouse know we're ready for extraction. Roger that, Greyhound 1. Might want to hurry back. We're seeing a lot of movement around here. Why would that make us want to hurry back? <laughs> Why would that make us want to hurry back? Okay, I want to make sure I get at least get that extra thing of medicine. Since we, like I said, we did confirm it was there. Someone else got it, I guess? Let's fast search this so we can get home. Um, probably not going to take the pistol. Not going to take, well, a four-star blunt weapon? That could be worthwhile. Okay, this area is searched, I believe. Somebody get over here. Oh, no, it's not. We're going to fast search because, like I said, time is currently of the essence. 
Now is it fully searched? Yes, now it's fully searched. That's a pretty cool weapon. Let's destroy this. And take that. Somebody get over here. And now we can get back to base. The reason why time is of the essence is because a lot of these missions are time sensitive. And... You can miss them, and it can change the story. It can change the availability of which ending you're trying to go for. Like, to get one of the endings, we need to basically rescue everybody. So I guess in some ways, this is kind of like Dead Rising. The uh, the old Dead Rising games were very much a game where you, you were really working against time to see how many people you could save. Oh, that's one of our guys. This is Black Friday. We have a visual on you now. Better double time it back to base. We have a, a situation developing here. Okay, we, we really need to clear those out of the way. Doctor, keep away from the gates, but stay where I can see you, all right? You get in trouble, I want to know about it. We've set up a watchtower where you can see the whole perimeter. Good. We'll need more firepower than we have on hand. I'll take that position and call in fire support. If this, I believe, is the watchtower. Yeah, they even mark it. There's another supply thingy here as well. So now I could use... a bigger gun here if necessary. Here's the XM8. That's a fan favorite right there. We didn't set any traps up, but that's okay. I don't think we really need it for the first one. Contact north. I'm out of gas. Yep, you're not helping. Oh my god, get out of my way. Using these MREs definitely will allow us to quickly get our stamina back and make sure that we are... We're gonna be leveling up assault weapons really quick right now. Field workshop is done. Very. No oh, wait. How did you get up here? No one invited you. Thank you. Get some more MREs. So I can continue using my super shot mode. I think they're thinning out. We've got a barrel out there. Do we now? I'm in position. Surveying the area now. Doghouse, we have Julie Horn in the air with a stack of her husband's notes. Roger that, Black Friday. Better than we hoped for. Hold your position, wait for the next name on the list. 
Roger that, sir. You've been effective enough that I'm allocating some assets to back you up. Drone recon, airstrikes, they're standing by for you. Doghouse out. Sir, you may want to hear this. I picked it up over the radio. Hello, everybody. This is Vienna Cho, the last voice of Danforth. If you're listening, I'm here to help you survive. In case you didn't notice, the army pulled out of the city hours ago. They finally found a problem they couldn't kill, so they ran away. But you know what? I've got a police scanner, a ham radio, and a satellite phone. So if you're stuck, get me on the line and I'll get the word out. Together, we'll get out of here alive. You know, if we're close to one of our people, we might be able to bring him in. Maybe, but our orders are about the big picture. I'm not sure if one civilian with a mic changes that. There you go, they just introduced another character. Vienna Cho, she does play a bit of a role. That's someone who's sick. The latrine is still coming up. I think I'm going to end the episode here, because I think this is a perfectly good introduction into what this game mode has to offer. I'm not sure how I want to handle... Yeah, that all looks good. So, and we're out of uh, we're out of materials and whatnot. So, yeah, we can trade our influence to make call-ins, weapons, ammo, survival, uh, basics, food, ammo, materials. Let's call in uh, materials because we we just want to get our base built up. Okay, I'll go to my command, like tower, and I guess that's where we're gonna log out. And uh, I haven't decided what my pattern is going to be. I might log out after each major siege because that's kind of like kind of a that kind of marks the end of the tension. Like the 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 tension builds up into a siege, and then the game kind of calms down a little bit after each siege. And each siege will get progressively worse as the zombies begin to get tired of our presence here in Dansforth. Any or Danforth. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode. Does it does it look interesting to you? Like so far, I think that Lifeline was a better expansion than Heartland overall. Uh, you let me know what you think about this kind of intro, though. Did you think this grabbed you more than Heartland? Let me know down in the comment section. In any, at any rate, like this video if it's entertaining. Subscribe for future State of K content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good. Thank you.